Hi there, my friends. It's Jen Pitta with By the Shore Stamping. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I have another video for you. Today, I am actually playing with some brand new product um, that I just got. It's actually from the annual catalog, so it's been out for a couple of months, but I just got it to play with. It's called Bloom and Grow, and it's this really fun floral image. Of course, it's going to be lots of fun to color. Um, it has dyes that are coordinating and that will cut out those beautiful little sprays of flowers. I thought it was going to be really pretty for wedding cards and um, just for coloring because I love to color. But I wanted to try and do a card where you didn't have to color. Um, and I was going to um, pull out some old school stuff. I've got some of my copper um, embossing powder. So I thought I would play with that as well. I initially thought that I would make a nice clean and simple card, but you know, all know that that's really hard for me. So this ended up being a kind of multi-layered card, but I still really like it. It looks simple. It's kind of fresh and clean. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to show you the finished card today. I'm going to actually make you wait for it. So I'm actually taking a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock and I'm folding that in half to make my card base. And I'm going to make it a side fold card. So I'll crease it here on the side, but I'm going to actually open it this way. So it'll be a little bit of a different opening. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to take my white piece here and I'm going to take the long, um, I'm actually using this image here and I'm going to stamp that in Versamark ink. I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing, so we're bringing out old school. This is one of the very first techniques that got me hooked on stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that at the top of this. So when you stamp with Versamark, you're not going to be able to see that, but it is stamped there. You do want to do this kind of section of the card pretty quickly um, because you want to make sure it stays... Um, wet like the ink stays wet so that the embossing powder will stick to it so i just stamped that twice and now i'm going to actually sprinkle this on but i'm going to actually sprinkle it onto another piece of cardstock because i want to be able to get it back into the canister so normally i would just fold up my grid paper in half oh look it i got a multi image <laughs> I must have shook a little bit, and so it actually did a uh, um, multi, what's that called, kind of a blurry image. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take all of this off. I should have done this over the trash so that it didn't ruin my other stuff here, but we're going to wing it. So I'm going to do that, and we're going to flip it over and do that again. So let's pour this back into here and get all of this off here and we'll try that again. So let me make sure that my cardstock here, whoops, oh, I just bent it, but I'm going to trim that off. So it's all good. All right. So let's do this again. This is probably going to be a mess, but we're going to go for it. Actually, I don't need that there. So Versamark ink. And this time, I'm going to make sure I'm not shaking. I didn't even realize I did that. I didn't even feel like I double stamped. So we'll do that again. One. And then a second time down here. And we'll see. Hopefully I'm not as shaky this time around. Let's bring our little piece of paper back. And we'll sprinkle on some embossing powder. That looks better. And then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing here. Okay, much better. All right, so now I can kind of put this back in here. And then just wipe off this so we don't have any stray stuff there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on that so we have no accidents. And then I'm just going to take my heat tool and I'm going to heat this up. I usually like to take my scissors and hold that in place so that it doesn't move. 
and you're just gonna wait till the heat gun gets hot and hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'm gonna leave it on for a second, see if you can see the transformation. This was, like I said, one of the very first things that hooked me to stamping because I just thought it was like magic here. So this bottom corner is now melting. I can't tell if you can see it in the video or not. I don't think so, but trust me, it's getting all melty. And it goes from like kind of a dull look to a nice shiny foil look is what we were going for. So I'm just gonna slowly work my way across the image. And you'll notice I don't hover too close to it and I don't do this. Um, I actually stay still and I just kind of put it in place and then slowly migrate it across my image until it is um, melted. And you don't want to hold in one spot for too long. I think that's why some people shake their embossing gun is so that um, it doesn't burn. But as long as you're moving as it melts, you shouldn't burn the paper. Just don't hold it in one spot for too long. There you go. We've got nice embossed edges now or flowers I should say um, you want to avoid putting your finger in it right away because it will um, get your fingerprint in it because it's hot so it will like melt it with your finger there but there can you see the gold there or actually it's copper I'm using copper so just a little bit of a fun foil look and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick this into my corner rounder punch and punch the corners and if in case you're wondering this is four by three and a half is the size of this and then I'm gonna layer it onto a piece of four and a quarter by three and three quarters inch early espresso I really wanted some copper foil paper but I didn't have any because that was what I wanted to mount it on but since I didn't have that that kind of looks like a dark brown so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this some corners on there and now I'm gonna go ahead and tape these down. You can see I got a little bit of stuff on here um, when I was kind of transferring from the, the bad side, but it's not gonna matter because um, we're gonna cover the center anyway. So I'm gonna layer this on here. And I am using, my color combination is actually Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Whisper White, Pretty Peacock, Petal Pink, and Melon Mambo. So I used a bunch of colors, um, but the new my one of my new favorite ribbons is this scallop linen thread and it comes in that pretty peacock color so i'm going to use that as kind of a little edging for this so i'm just going to pull that along the edge here and i'm going to literally just do it so that you can just see the scalloped edge so i'm going to put this down and then lay I, if you noticed i put tape on the back side of this and then i'm just going to lay it right on top of the ribbon kind of making sure it's equally showing all the way up like that and then I'll push that down and trim off the edge so that it's just kind of peeking out there then I'm gonna actually take my card base and I'm going to do corner rounding on the side here you don't you can't put both together because it just it's not a good idea for your punch so I'm just going to punch both sides individually here like that all right and then I will tape that down here okay and then I just took, this is my new co favorite color or combo for dyes, is using the Starburst Punch and the 2-inch Punch. If you look at any of my cards recently, I've been doing it constantly because I love how that looks. So I'm just going to tape a 2-inch Pretty Peacock Circle to a um, Starburst die cut with the punch using Petal Pink. And then that's going to get taped to the middle here. And then I pulled out another oldie but goodie and a great staple for your craft room, is the Stampin' Up! Craft Whisper White ink. Um, they don't sell it like this one anymore. It's um, a separate ink pad and a separate refill, and you just refill the ink yourself. So it comes empty, and then you put the ink into it, um, but it's the same concept. So I just took a piece of um, 
Melon Mambo, Melon Mambo that is one inch by five. And I'm just gonna ink up this sentiment really well using the Whisper White ink. So you can tell it's like a white ink. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that right in the middle of that paper. Now, because this is a um, craft ink, it does not dry instantly, so you want to be careful not to rub your finger on it. So I'm going to carefully cut some banner ends in this. Just slit in the middle. And then corner to center. And corner to center. And then I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing on this side. Slit in the middle. Corner to center. Corner to center. There we go. Okay. And then I added this with some dimensionals. So now you can kind of see how this is all coming together. I'm just going to put some dimensionals right across the banner, peel those off, and stick that right down. It doesn't take it long for it to dry, but you do want to give it a little time, so it's pretty good now. And then my last step is I just felt like it needed a little texture. I originally added this um, scallop linen thread for texture, but it kind of reads more as cardstock once you've got it behind the other cardstock. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie myself a little bow and trim that down with my ribbon scissors and I will use a little glue dot push that down right on top of my mini glue dot and then pull it off and it comes off on the ribbon I'm just gonna fold it over so it doesn't stick and then I'm gonna stick that right down there and there you go Super cute little card, fast and easy, using some of old school stuff, but making a really simple card so I didn't have to color all of that. I can just stamp it and emboss it. You could stamp it and leave it as a background too without, um, like tone on tone would be really cute. So you don't always have to color a line art image. You can kind of do different things with it, but I like how this one came out. I hope you do too. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time for more Teach Me Tuesday. Have a great week and if you liked this video, be, be, please be sure to click like and also feel free to share it with your friends. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye!